Let me pause for a second. <laughs> Hi, welcome to How to D&D. My name is Fred Wheeler, and today I want to talk about Dungeons and Dragons. But I'm going to have a guest with me. I have Wally DM with me, and he's going to talk about why beer makes Dungeons and Dragons better. Hi, Wally. Thank you for coming. Hey, thanks, Fred. Uh, you said to join you for a beer, and I jumped at the... This has been circled on my calendar forever. I am super excited about that. D&D &D and beer, it doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> In my general personal experience, I have found that when I play Dungeons & Dragons, it doesn't matter what version of Dungeons & Dragons. It could be Dungeons & Dragons version 3 or 2nd edition or some sort of mutant Dungeons and Dragons 5e, 4e, I've always found that drinking beer usually results in a lot more fun for me and everybody else at the table and quite an enjoyable session. In fact, those tend to be the sessions that stand out the most. And um, there's a couple of reasons I think that's um, why that's happening. But I thought it would be interesting since I know you and you're an expert in this field, um, <laughs> that you were the right person to come to. So what are some of the pros, the positives to drinking beer in your Dungeons & Dragons um, game sessions? Okay. First, I'm going to wear that badge honorably because I do feel like I'm an expert in beer. I'm a big craft beer drinker, and I I just, I just love the taste of it. Uh, so let's dive into a few of the pros that I have. And the, and the first one's going to be, it's going to bring us down to earth a little bit, and, and that is anxiety. So like before I'm ready to run a, a game, not as much when I'm going to play in a game because I, I, I feel a little bit more comfortable there. But if I'm going to DM a game about an hour beforehand, I, I, I start to get very anxious. I, I start to worry if if they're going to like my game. I, I, I'm going to worry, am I prepared enough? Um, it, does the NPCs voices I have in my head, are they going to sound dumb? So what I like to do is as I finish my final prep is I get myself a nice cool brew. I, I uh, pour it have a few sips of that. And I find that drinking beer in that way, it, it just brings down my anxiety and it makes me a lot more calmer to run a game. Now, another pro, uh, pro that I would have is, is it also gives me courage. Now, I, I of course, I don't want to overdo it with the beer because I could be over courageous, but um, it, like those voices that I'm talking about, some of them sound really silly in my head. And, and if I'm going to go in with a voice, I'm like, oh, maybe I won't do it. But if... When you've got the liquid courage in the can, you, you're you're fine with it. You're just like, ah, oh, heck, you know, and you throw that voice out there. And, and like you said, it ends up being a lot of fun. The the players like it. Like they, they, they are able to talk to this NPC and the voice you have. And it just, it just seems to be a, a good time. Now, in addition to that, the, the third reason that I like beer is, is honestly, it's just for camaraderie. It's always been in my family. I half a, uh, half of my family is Italian. The other half are, they just like to drink beer. And that's just one of the things we do. We get around, we socialize. And ever since I was a little kid, I remember my dad, you know, get around with his friends and, and family, socialize, having a few drinks. And that's just the way we do things. I, I just feel a lot more relaxed around my friends and especially playing a game and having a few brews. So do you have some sort of uh, stories or examples where um, specific stories or examples you could share where you, you know, people have been drinking beer in the game or you've been drinking beer and it's helped um, or sort of what's, uh, what might have occurred? Absolutely. My, my players in the Waterdeep campaign, they'll tell you that as they, as the night goes on and, and the more beers that I have, the nicer I get. Either it's easier encounters or more treasure and things of that nature. And we've had some really great role-playing moments that just went totally out of control just because, you know, we're relaxed, we're having a few drinks, we're laughing, we're enjoying ourselves. And 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 those are the games I just like to be a part of and, and like to have fun with. And Honestly, after that, there's a lot of them I don't remember either because I might have had one too many. So um, a, a lot of the pros, I, I don't remember as much. I just remember the next day, be like, yeah, you know, Wally was drinking again. So, you know, we got some extra stuff. We leveled up to level 35. We're going to, you know, stuff like that. So <laughs> so one of the things I've found that uh, is really cool when uh, people are drinking at the table and, and not getting too carried away mm -hmm. um, and I find that one or two beers is usually enough and that is 
the players seem to get far more creative. The sorts of things they will try and do just boggle the mind. And I have been so shocked and I have laughed so hard at some of the things that my players have done. And it, all it's taken is like half a beer. And I'm like, how much did you drink? Where did you get that from? But it seemed to be enough to sort of get rid of that social anxiety that they mm -hmm. have with communicating and making decisions and trying to do things in a game that really, you know, they wouldn't normally do in real life. So right. I found that really useful. Absolutely. And, and I don't think everybody needs to, I mean, if it's not your thing, it's not your thing. That's, that's no problem. But some people, like you said, it just, it just, to, just to be able to loosen up and sit back, relax, have, have fun with your friends and, and laugh and have good times and create good memories. So I have three stories. Okay. Um, I used to dungeon master <clears throat> and we used to play a version of Dungeons and Dragons 2E, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons mixed with a board game called Dungeons and Dragons because I couldn't understand all the rules in the book mm -hmm. and neither could anybody else. So we used a mutant version. Um, and we <laughs> would, at the end of the working day, <clears throat> on a Friday, me and my flatmates would sit down. There was two of them. And I would dungeon master and they would be players. And we would drink ginger beer that my flatmate had been brewing in the basement mm -hmm. and adding raisins to to increase the alcohol level in them. Um, so that means that those ginger beers were pretty strong. But core blimey, did we have a good time. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> so I remember that very specifically. And uh, I can't think of a time that we did not have a great time, even though we weren't partying on a Friday night mm -hmm. or hanging out with girls. Um, so hence, it was it was all good. So that's one story that I can think of that I really enjoyed. The other thing is, I used to play with a bunch of friends on a Sunday afternoon, and we'd play right through into the evening sometimes. Um, so it was almost like a day um, on a Sunday, just pencil the whole thing along. There's a whole bunch of people there who are heavy drinkers. But what they would do is, because I knew they had to drive home, they wouldn't drink heavily. But they would bring something like dwarven ale. Somebody has made dwarven ale or mead. And we'd share that amongst the entire group. So there's like six, seven of us sitting around mm. drinking this. Uh, and that was quite a pleasant experience to have the sun coming through the window on an afternoon, <laughs> which I know <laughs> sounds terrible. I know it sounds terrible, but we had such a great time doing that. Even when um, people were doing dicky things and mm. the dungeon master was doing things we didn't like, it really didn't matter. We were having a great time. And the last story that I can think of is I used to run a home game for my family and my friends. There was one guy who would show up with just a single beer every time he did. I can't count the number of times he would do something just bat crazy. We were playing through the Isle of Dread and what he decided to do is they were supposed to capture animals, but they killed all the animals uh, in this encounter and they had none left they were supposed to take it back to a zoo they couldn't do that and he says to me after he's been drinking this beer and mm -hmm. he'd almost finished it he says fred i would like to harvest the eggs from the female animals and i would also like to harvest the sperm from the testes of the male animal and i'm going to use magic and combine them and then implant them into another animal so that they it, it actually gives birth to that animal. And we're going to take that back to the zoo. So we're going to get that animal, even though we killed all of them. And I'm going to use magic because I have special magic available to me. And he explained it all to me. And it was the most ridiculous story I've ever heard. And I said, yep, that works fine. Um, so You've got to get... Story I had. Find out what beer that is, because that's absolutely insane. <laughs> there are great things about drinking beer in a Dungeons and Dragons game. But there are some cons to actually drinking beer in a Dungeons and Dragons game. Yeah. And I would hope that you could sort of provide us some examples and some sort of reasons behind that, you know, because there are, I would say, a couple of reasons why you do not want to have, you know, there are some consequences to having mm -hmm. people drinking beer at the table or in the game session. Absolutely. Let me pause for a second. <laughs> yeah.
actually, yes, I, I do have a few ideas as far as cons. The first one's just disruption. If, if you drink a little bit too much, you get a little bit over silly, if you will, and perhaps you're interrupting other players during during their turn, or you're waiting for yours and you get an impatient, things of that nature. Um, another con of it is if you spill your beer, especially if you're playing in person and you've got this battle mat and the dungeon master's drawing everything out and you got all the miniatures there that cost like 20, 30, 40 dollars a piece, and then your glass of beer, you get excited, you stand up and Bam, the glass goes over. Now the entire battle mat's soaked. Your character sheets, all the numbers blend together. It's like a total party character sheet kill. And then you have to, it's just all chaos from there. And then the third thing that I can think of as far as cons go is just emotions. There, there, a lot of people, alcohol affects them differently. Some of them are a lot happier and a lot sillier some get a lot sadder some some folks uh get angry so there there could definitely in a in a worst case scenario the emotions could run high on on a role playing moment or a combat moment and you could have players fighting with each other because they've had one too many drinks and they get passionate about a subject or something and, and before you know it you know there's bickering back and forth and and then the dungeon master's got to come in and you got to cool everything down and and set everybody there um but uh, of course I'm hoping that's worst case extreme scenario uh, everybody that I've, I've played with, they some of them don't drink, and, and that's cool, and some of them that do, and most of them are, are pretty responsible with their drinking. So do you have some examples where things have gone too far and people mm -hmm. have been drinking too much beer or drinking an, um, alcohol that's just too strong and it's gotten out of hand? I, I, I do, and it, it hasn't... It didn't develop to the, that point that I just mentioned, but there was one time, and in fact, I, I it was probably the last time I played in person, so this was probably 2016. I had a buddy come over, and, and, and to his credit, he was going through a lot of stuff in his personal life, and there was four of us players, and he showed up, he showed up late, and then when he did show up, he had already been drinking, and then, of course, you know, he brought more with him, so he, he's drinking then. And we got him involved in the game. At that time, the other players were having moments for their characters, and he just kept interrupting us. He's like, "I'm," he's like, "I'm getting bored. I when's I want to do something? Can I do something now?" And then it went from that interrupting. Then he's got his cell phone out there, and he's taking selfies of himself and and texting people. And then wow. before I know it, he's. Uh, on the telephone, walking up and down my hallway, talking to people. Then he comes back and he sits down and he's taking selfies again, grabbing another drink. And it just, it, it totally ruined it for the other three players. And yeah, he, he had had too much. And again, a, a good friend of mine, so I, I don't hold it against him, but it, it does show the effects that it can have on certain individuals when they do drink a little bit too much. Yeah, I guess my experience, the bad experiences I've had is... Um... Players or, well, actually, I'd say players becoming kind of like a gremlin, uh, getting really loud. Uh, and alcohol feeds the current feeling you're ha ha having. So if you're really happy, you tend to get happier. Mm -hmm. And if you're feeling kind of down, you tend to get more down. Or if you're unhappy, you get yeah. more unhappy. And so that's one of the biggest problems, particularly if you drink too much. Yeah. And then the other thing I've noticed too, and I've had you know, dungeon masters who you're no longer inhibited, you know, and suddenly you really become insensitive to what the players are feeling about yeah. how you're running the game. And I have probably just two stories uh, to share with people. Um, and that is when a player showed up with a six pack of beer. I was, it was already alarm bells at that particular time. I wasn't the dungeon master. I was just a player, but by the end of it, he'd become uh, so loud and is really embarrassing and uh, the whole party, as a result of the actions he took part in, resulted in the entire party wiping out. We had a TPK. Oh, wow. Yeah, and, and uh, that was when we were playing in the Red Hand of Doom in the swamp. Mm -hmm. and I will always remember that particular day because that was the day that we finally got our asses handed to us in the Red Hand of Doom. And nothing ever worked properly after that. And it was the day he brought that six pack and he drank the whole thing, which is terrifying. Um, frankly, I, I wouldn't want that to happen to anybody. Mm -hmm. And then the other one is I was dungeon master 
uh, for a group of family members and friends, and uh, some characters died in the game. And it was clear to me, um, once the vodka and the rum and the whiskey started coming out after their characters had died, that they weren't dealing with that particular situation well, and they had resorted to the heavy spirits. And so after, at that point, the game was, that whole session went downhill. And so I can see there are times where it isn't going to work, but done in moderation uh, with the right people, it works really well, but there are some consequences, some, some, some cons to it. Absolutely. Yeah. Moderation is key and knowing your limits. I mean, if, if you know that you can only have three beers and if you have any more than that, you get silly, only bring the three beers with you. I mean, that's, um, yeah, definitely moderation is key and, and knowing your limits. I mean, it, it's pretty as, as easy as that. So thank you for coming on Wally. Uh, now if any of you don't know Wally DM, please go and check out his channel. I will put it down in the description. Please go and support him, share, like, subscribe, all that sort of thing. And uh, hey, till next time, keep rolling those 20s. I don't have a dice. <laughs> got one for you. <laughs> I didn't have a dice. You got a dice? You I got have, a dice? Here you go. Let me okay, pass it right. through the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I got a dice. I'm ready now. I'm ready. Okay. okay. Now, now that I have a dice, keep rolling those 20s. <laughs>